LEGO REVIEW! Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing LEGO City Set 60202. I showed this off in a previous video, doing a haul video, but now we're actually going to open it up, build it, and then review it. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. set fully built so as you can see whilst building it it didn't take too long as it was mostly just building figures and their accessories so yeah now I'm gonna go over all of the different parts of the build so now I'm gonna go over all the different characters and all the little builds and all of the mini builds in it and give you my thoughts and opinions on it so starting it off here we have the tent which I think is one of the really cool bits about this build as it's just, it came out of one of these pop out bits for the fabric on the outside, which is really high quality. It's basically just a plastic, affordable plastic, which is really nice and it's really high quality. Basically the door bits here are tucked in, but then you can easily tuck it out and then it stays like this. It's a really strong design for being such a flexible plastic, but that goes on using these pins at the bottom and that goes around on either side. Inside it's just got two little beds. It's quite simple, but I think it's one of the really cool exclusive sort of parts of the set. Just the fact that it's in this set is really good. I think this is a really good part of it. Next up here we have a boat with two people in it with paddles. So the boat is all one piece here and the characters are quite simple. For example here this guy's paddle is really simple, just two pieces. And then he's got a blue hat, seems to have a person, simple trousers, and then a quite basic chest piece. And then the other guy's got the same hat, different face piece, same life vest piece, which only goes on the front side, a basic hoodie piece and basic legs and with the same paddle design. So yeah, overall I think this is a decent part of the build, it's quite simple. But I'm glad they put it in there as it's something different to contrast with the rest of the bit. So next up here we have this little simple ramp build for the biker. As you can see there's a nice printed log piece here on a tile which is nice with the log. Very simple design as I said. But if I bring in the biker from over here, she can go up quite easily and it makes a nice jump. For the biker herself and the bike, it's a pretty simple design with some red trousers and a regular biker outfit in red and black. She's got the dark blue biker mask with the white goggles and then the bike itself is green with some white tyres. Next up is the rock climbing mini build. So it's a very simple build for the rock climbing and it's got these four grey pegs which the climber can hold on to which is cool. I've got them in the pose it shows on the front of the box which I think looks quite good but as a simple build it doesn't really add that much play value. I can see how it could be used just to climb with it but I think more of the basis for this pack is more just to have characters for other sets to play around with or to go with other things. 
but I think this rock build is quite simple and like the other builds I think it's better to have it than to not have it but it's not the highest of quality. I wouldn't say it's the best looking build. The climber himself has a bright orange chest piece with some darker orange trousers. He's got a white helmet and then a regular face piece with some orange glasses. Moving on to figures, here we have the first figure other than the ones I already showed you in the build. So this is sort of a more old lady, middle aged lady, who has a bright pink, what seems to be coat with a white underside with some white sleeves as well. She's got a black hammer with some dark blue trousers and this grey hairpiece which personally I haven't seen before. Here we have a hiker. He's got two green hiking pieces which actually I've seen in being used as some skis in a Lego skiing set which I think it's a bit bad that they use the same pieces especially in that colour. I think for climbing stick you should probably have it more in brown or something or some other colour which would fit the theme more. But other than that, this character has some light brown hair with a quite generic face with a sort of sideways smile. He's got a green chest piece with what seems to be some sort of logo like a wolf or a raccoon, something like that on the chest. I haven't seen this piece used before or at least I don't have it myself yet and then he's got some dark blue trousers. Next up here we have a little boy who seems to be who seems to be in something like a Cubs or a Scouts uniform. They're using a white tire that's sort of like a plate and they've got a red coffee mug. And then on his side he's got what seems to be a gas burner with a frying pan on it with a egg. Him himself has some um, of a small in a sort of ginger colour with then a generic face with glasses some quite generic brown hair and then a brown backpack on the back. Up next we have a father with a child. So this is using one of the new baby figures. So baby figs. They've got a much smaller head which can actually come off. And this one has a light green body. It's in this sort of front ways holding piece for it for the baby which is attached underneath the dad's head. The dad himself has some dark grey trousers, a, a slightly generic torso with some blue sleeves. It seems to have a lot of pockets on it including one big one on the back and then he's got a face with a stubble and then he's got this cool black hair piece. Here we have another father who has a big selfie stick. One bad thing about this is the selfie stick goes out so far to where when the dad is standing at his normal position, which he is at now, standing straight, he cannot hold the selfie stick without falling over. Unless you bend his back back ridiculously far, it won't stand up on its own, which I would think is a bit bad. The selfie stick goes out so far, it seems a bit unrealistic. But then him himself, he has a beach sort of top, some beige trousers, a moustache with some closed eyes face and a brown hairpiece. Here we have a little girl with what seems to be a water bottle. This is a really cool design as it's a translucent blue piece for the main frame of the bottle. And then one of these new black pieces for the sort of top of the bottle. With her there's a light which is just a generic camping light. She has some ginger hair with a pink striped t-shirt and then a blue and yellow striped little legs. So guys, here is one of the main pieces of the set. It's exclusive for what I know and it's an eagle. So this is a really cool piece. It's only one piece. He has one stud on the back or the top and it's a really cool mold and I think it looks amazing and it does really well. One of the cool features with it is that if you get a generic fish piece, he can actually, in the bottom here, carry the fish so he can look like he's flying away with it, which I think is a really cool inclusion with it. Here we have another person. She has some ginger hair. She has a generic ginger hair piece, a blue phone, which is in many, many sets these days. She's got some normal blue trousers and a light blue top with a star top underneath. Here we have another woman 
who has one of these cool brown hair pieces which I haven't seen in brown before it probably it has been in another set in brown before but this is the first time I've had it she has another one of the water bottles she has a pink top with seemingly a white bit underneath and then she has some generic brown trousers with some pockets here we have another girl who has some very light blonde hair in that hair piece she has some red glasses with some freckles on her face she has some brown binoculars and then she has some small black leg pieces she also has a purple top with a pink stripe and a turquoise stripe and a zip down the middle and here we have our final minifigure she seems to be a photographer she's got a really cool a really cool camera build which has a generic camera piece with what seems to be a bigger lens and then also a flash on top she has a brown hair piece with a ponytail a light brown chest piece with something underneath she's got this cool piece on the side for that sort of side bag which goes around her neck which I think is a really cool piece and then she has some light grey trousers and here finally we have this signpost build which is quite generic with a normal base and a wooden structure but I think what's cool is the two signs on this so you can see the bottom one with an arrow says Lego City which is an obvious pointer to the whole Lego City theme at as a whole and the main city but then it says Mount Clutchmore and I think this might be a throwback to the first Lego film ever I believe in which the main character was called Clutch Powers I think this may be a throwback to that which I think is really really cool so yeah that's it let's go back and give our final opinion so guys that is this set Overall, I think it's a really good set for getting all these new parts and minifigures. Stuff like the eagle and the baby are really, really cool and unique. It is quite expensive at retail price. It's £45, which I think is ridiculous for all of this. But that seems to be the standard price for minifigures, at least from Lego. Which is a bit annoying, but you can understand if the collectible minifigure bags go for around three quid per bag. That's for one figure. So you can sort of understand when the price comes, but I think most of the price comes from these bigger pieces like the boat, the eagle, and the tent. Which I think is really cool that they're bigger pieces. It's a bit annoying, but it increases the price of the set a lot. Overall, I think this set is really cool and it's good to pick up, but only when it's on deal somewhere, get 10, 20 quid off. You, you could get some really good deals on this and I think that's about the territory where the set would be a really good pick up. See you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!